Got done watching the Daytona 500 crazy race. I haven't watched that since I was a little kid, so it was kind of fun this year, kind of rekindling that nostalgic joy. Got a mod for the 6.5 here. As you can see, she started up, works just fine. Transmission is still jacked up, so I guess it's not totally true, but I'm excited to have her back for the rest of the winter season. So what we're gonna do today is just a little mod, and I got this for free, this little kit here, RGB lighting from Must Win. Um, pretty cool, so check these guys out. Gonna see how they look on the truck here. Um, you can see on the little screenshots from this little Tacoma, it looks pretty cool. Um, so we'll see if that's actually what they look like in person. So I still have to hide the wires a little bit and make this a little bit more professional, but they give you some little grip tape on the bottom to stick to the steel. Um, my steel's rusted, obviously, on this old truck, so that's not really gonna work. But what's perfect is they give little pilot holes for some self-tappers if that's what you want to use. I definitely recommend that. And uh, these things will definitely not go anywhere. Unfortunately, the wire length I was given isn't quite long enough for this big truck. Um, I'm assuming this is meant for uh, the shorty, the shorter body style. Uh, so you're gonna have to hit them up, just get an extension wire from them. Um, and this was kind of just off the cusp. They, they, it's not really their fault because they didn't really even have a chance to ask me like different specs about the about the vehicle. So um, I'm gonna have to hit them up. I'll show you guys the results probably in another video, but just wanna give a shout out to them for, for reaching out to such a small channel, it means a lot. So I'm sure these will look great. And the ones I have hooked up in the front, I'll be able to give you a sneak peek later tonight. Freezing my nubs off out here for you guys, but that's all right. I promise you the mod looks pretty cool here. Get ready for the squeak. Yeah, we're gonna need some uh, WD-40. And if I can see the light here, you guys should be able to see the LEDs underneath the wheels. Yes, I'm not a big fan of the uh, color changing. And you can see the one color here, sort of this aqua blue, almost perfectly matches the rapid blue. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Um, and then we just have a whole bunch of different assortment of colors we can go through. Uh, this would be just flipping through on the little remote. Um, but the color spread actually is pretty good. I was worried with LEDs it was going to just be like this focused little beam of light. But uh, it, it actually looks really professional for the price. So um, it's a little bit on the cheaper end. The product seems to work perfectly so far. So no wrong qualms for me and uh, definitely gets a thumbs up on my end. Oh, another dreary as hell day. It's always just so depressing. I cannot wait for summertime, springtime, favorite season. To all those who are new to the channel, Thanks for uh, coming on board. I hate winter time so much. I used to enjoy it as a kid. Maybe it's because we didn't have any snow this year. I don't know, it just feels awful. Mustang's filthy, we're headed over. I guess we're gonna take delivery of the Duramax today. I know I always, I always complained ever since I got this car about how the, the clutch just doesn't feel right, there's problems, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I experienced happened twice now, once in second gear and once in fourth gear. Um, my clutch will be fully disengaged. Like I have my foot to the floor, the clutch pedals the entire way to the floor. Um, and whenever I go to put it in like second gear, it like grinds gears horribly. And it's like, why is this happening if I'm, my, my clutch is totally to the floor. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's essentially neutral. I don't know. So you guys can answer that for me. It sounds like a horrible gear grinding noise until I take it out of gear and then put it in neutral. Clutch never, my foot's never taken off the clutch. Anyway, let's get to the Duramax. There she is. You look at a vehicle for so long, you're like, yeah, that's a cool vehicle. But once you own it, it's like, I don't know, you have a whole different appreciation for it. It's like, man, that that is mine. Now I know it's gonna trigger a lot of people. The truck's mine for right now. It is mine. Like I am the owner. Uh, so all those, all those saying they support me in, in buying this thing, um, it means a lot. Thank you so much. So I've been getting a bunch of DMs and questions from people, and it's like, what modifications could you possibly do to this thing? Uh, the first one actually isn't, well, I guess it's technically a modification, uh, but it's more so restoration. Um, I'm in talks with a company down in Lancaster, I believe. Um, I'll try and get their information out there. Uh, they said that they would hook us up here, get this truck fully detailed, paint corrected, everything, get all the scuffs off the side. Um, I think that's going to be big to get this truck on the right path to where it needs to go. Garage doors opening up. We got the Corrado in the garage now. It was always in the garage, but now it's like front and center. I think Mike has plans for that here coming up pretty shortly. The Duramax. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the haters out there. It's, it's not, not my fault. There's no haters. There's it's like haters. I'm a foster parent. I, I got some. There were some people real dramatic about me, but I think you're good. I think you're good. I've seen a couple comments. I don't mind. This is it. That's this right. is big right here. Here's I'm giving you these keys because I think the other one has a dead uh, fob. He didn't want to give me the shoelace. That's so nice. No, the shoelace. Yeah, I think. I think Thanks for the dead. giant bonus card. Yeah, you get a bonus card for cool. free. Cool. That's awesome. Get me some gas. Go shopping. Get me some gas. All right, I'll fill her up. Big day, buddy. This is it. Never gonna Bobby's see her again. Bobby's taking the truck today and he's going to work and that's it. Yep, I'm moving away. Oh my God. Was this was this always here? 
No, I did that with the uh, the saw by accident. Okay. See, I, it is in better hands. Thank God I'm taking this thing. Yeah, this poor, God poor truck. Me. My God. All right, buddy. What are you doing today? I'm going to Whitmore to film a little. Uh, Don't spoil it. Okay. General Motors action. It'll be in the title. A little Ooh. action. Okay. Uh, GM. I was like, wait a minute. C8. Yeah, the. Uh, I guess that might be pre-GM. I mean, AM General. Yeah, it was something like that. I had like a whole commercial I put in. I didn't even pay attention to it because it sucked. <laughs> Big Duramax. Big day. There you go. Time to say goodbye, buddy. Never gonna get her back, man. That sucks. <laughs> he hates whenever I say that because, like, the fans dick. are well, the fans are like <laughs> flipping out. Like, I can't believe someone subbing. I already unsubscribed to myself, so it's fine. Yeah, I unsubscribed to myself years ago. That's that's the way to do it. I think you get better ad revenue that way. All right, I'm gonna do All you a right. favor and leave. Okay. And I'll see you later. All right. Have fun with it, buddy. Here we go. You got your little, you're, you actually have a working glow plug indicator on this truck. Oh my god. Works. Yeah, look, this isn't ne nothing like the 6.5. I should yeah, film that. There's a little, little coil. <laughs> gone instantly. Gone. My 6.5 takes what? Three minutes to uh to turn there over? Yeah, Christ Beautiful. Boy. Beautiful. This truck is pretty quick. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's pretty quick. Good. I'm going to floor it everywhere I go. Look at that. 52,000 miles. Well, that's a high, as we know, but it's somewhere. It's not that high. It's not that high? It's probably got 60,000 on it. That's got my Bluetooth. You can set up the Bluetooth. All right, buddy. Yeah. What a guy. Look at him go. Mike, the man, the Lamborghini owner, the ZR1 owner, the Corrado owner, and the Blazer owner, 2020 Duramax. He's got a whole assortment of vehicles right now. We're gonna take this thing to work. This is the debut. Uh, taking this thing out there, everyone gets to see it. I'm so happy. It's just gonna be weird now because I've driven this truck so many times before, um, and this is the time I'm gonna drive it where it's like I'm the owner. It's like yeah, I get to I get to look at people where they're like snapping pics, be like yep, this is my truck. Not that I'm some god because I own a 2005 Duramax. Like it's not <laughs> it's not the 2020, but uh, it, it's still fun nonetheless because this is this was such a staple flagship for the channel. Uh, now it's in my possession. So. Uh, what's in the future for this truck? I told you paint correction um, and, and, a, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, wheels and tires, I'm, I'm thinking about actually taking the the, uh, the wheels off of this and putting them on the 6.5. I always wanted the Black Rhino wheels on. Mike, um, Black Rhino actually reached out and said they would offer me a set. Uh, never jumped on it because there was just so much going on at the time. The 6.5 wasn't even in commission. I didn't know if I was going to have it for much longer. So pass that up, but it's okay. Because we got the big Duramax with us right now. Dude, I am up. I am up here. I forgot how tall this thing is. This thing is massive. It feels like I'm on still. Oh, man, it's like going down memory lane in this thing. Right there's the creek where the Duramax got stuck many years ago. And now there's a house here already. Oh, my God. The memories of that day. <laughs> We're about three days in from you buying the Duramax. Uh, I've been driving it to work every day. It's been great. Got a surprise coming in tomorrow's video. Should be able to get that out uh, definitely tomorrow night. Uh, the Duramax is already headed into the shop. Not for pre-existing issues. Um, well, I guess sort of that, but for the most part, this truck's just gonna get nice and fixed up and uh, have some pretty cool stuff done to it. So you guys have to check out tomorrow's video. The turbo whistle in this truck is insane. So if you made it this far in the video, be sure to say turbo in the comments. I read all comments, try to get back to every single one. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And listen to this thing. I mean, that's like 50% throttle too. This truck is insane. And I have the turbo setting like way down. I, I forgot to mention, I have huge news. Already in talks with uh, Shane and Shane Designs about a wrap for this thing. Gonna go in here pretty soon to look at some samples he has, stuff he thinks will fit the truck. Um, I really enjoyed the Arctic wrap for this truck whenever that was on. I don't know if I wanna stick with that, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think for wrap. Um, I saw a lot of you guys saying wrap it blue to match the Mustang. I, I don't know, I, I, baby blue kinda looks cool, but on a truck where it's like sort of this militarized looking vehicle, not that it is in any means, but like you can make it look like one. I don't know if wrap blue is the, the perfect color for this. So we'll see. Oh, my least favorite part of the day, and there's a car behind me, so they get to witness this trash. Oh my God, pulling into my freaking yard. Pulling into my yard here and just destroying my grass. It's been destroyed ever since the Dakota. Look at these people. They don't know what to make of this. Look at her going around, she's going so wide. Again, thanks for watching the video. Comment, subscribe, I read all comments. And I got nothing else to say. Sit.